Rob and I decided to book a forage and walk through Wales Outdoors. The event was led by Graham, who took us for a tour around the Bracken Beacons waterfall country, looking for edible, medical and interesting plants and mushrooms on the way. Foraging in the winter is a little difficult, but Graham was fantastic and is clearly very knowledgeable about the different types of plants that we found. Hardfern leaves were traditionally used as treatment for stomach problems, lung disorders and even cancer. It has been used as emergency food when all else fails. The rhizome would be cooked as a source of starch and the young tender stems would be peeled and the centre part eaten. Hare's ear fungus closely resembles the orange peel fungus. However, we were advised that this particular mushroom is not edible and upon doing more research I found a lot of conflicting information as to whether you can eat it or not. Most of what I discovered though generally regards this fungus as harmful. This is one of the funnel cap mushrooms, however we were advised that this wasn't a suitable edible mushroom and the one to look out for is the white trooping funnel which can be eaten. Wild rye can be used as a cereal grain. The dried flour from grinding the seeds can be combined with other cereal flours to make bread, muffins, biscuits, cookies and crackers. Herb robber was traditionally used as an antiseptic as well as to treat stomach upsets and nosebleeds. Its leaves are edible and used by some to make tea. Turkey tail mushrooms are generally too tough to eat and lacks a lot of flavour. However, teas and tonics have been made from it for thousands of years. 
Apparently it has a range of medical benefits including boosting the immune system and anti-carcinogenic properties. Birch polypore grows on birch naturally and used to make teas or tonics for the immune system as well as an antiseptic to clean wounds and promote healing. It is also known as razor strop fungus as it was used in old barber shops to give the final finish to cutthroat razors as well as being used as a very fine emery cloth to polish metals and make ink blotters. Self-heal is a common medicinal plant that has a long tradition of being used for everything from stopping bleeding and healing wounds to treating heart disease and sore throats. Dandelion leaves are considered to be very nutritious and can be eaten as a salad or fresh vegetable. The leaves can be used like lettuce, boiled and made into soup or fried. The root has traditionally been used to make a coffee substitute and the flowers can be used to make vegan honey. Meadow sweet has a very distinctive sweet smell as well as medicinal uses. It can be used to make tea and sweeten and flavour wines, beer and mead. The roots of Woodhaven smell strongly of cloves and can be used to help with toothache. I couldn't help but compare this to tasting like Christmas when I was chewing on it. The leaves when young can also be added to salads or stews or deep fried. It's thought that the common name Herb Bennett arose from the medieval Latin Herba Benedicta because the plant was wildly used in herbal medicine at this time. Soft rush was traditionally soaked in fat and used as wicks in household lamps as it was a cheaper alternative to candlelight. This practice was revived during the Second World War in some rural areas. The candles didn't give a very bright light though, so both ends were burned when held horizontally, hence where the saying, burning the candle at both ends comes from. Ribwood plantain leaves, like common plantain, are too bitter, even when young, but the bud on the flower stem tastes surprisingly like mushroom and the seeds can be ground into a powder. It has medicinal uses and can be used as an antihistamine or a mild antibiotic. Wild strawberries have an extremely sweet flavour and a hint of vanilla and the leaves can be used to make a mild green tea. The hedgehog fungus is a very safe mushroom for the novice forager as long as you find it light coloured mushroom growing from the ground with a stem and spines instead of gills. It's unlikely to be anything else. It has a sweet nutty taste with a crunchy texture and slightly bitter when raw. Wood sorrel is a common edible plant that apparently has medicinal uses. It can be used as a garnish in just about any salad and the leaves can be used to make a tea. Pennywort has fleshy succulent leaves that can be added to any salad. The lower surface skin on a leaf can be applied to a wound to help treat minor burns and grazes. The 
common nettle is an underrated superfood. The young nettles can be used for cooking and advised only to be eaten between June and October. It can be used as a herbal tea and is rich in iron, protein and vitamins A, B and C. I have made crisps and pesto in the past using nettle leaves and it was absolutely delicious. Rob and I decided to stop off in a few pubs on the walk home. We had such a brilliant time and I'm so proud with how well behaved Susu was. You can tell in the video how zonked out she was by the time we got home and we were all so exhausted it was such a long day. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video.